For Buckhead Lounge with a history of violence. A Fulton County judge just ordering 1145 Lounge to shut its doors for good. Now, this ruling follows a lengthy court process that began after the deadly Mother's Day shooting that killed two women. Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery is live tonight outside the Fulton County Courthouse. So, Madeline, you spoke with the mother of one of the women who were killed here. I did. She is relieved that those doors are finally closed for good, and so are business owners in the area who say they've been begging for that business to be closed for years now. This court has found that 1145 is in fact a public nuisance. Case and club closed. Prohibiting respondents from holding events, serving patrons, or conducting and or allowing any other manner of, of operation on the property is set forth. This decision after the city filed for 1145 Lounge to shut down after a deadly shooting on Mother's Day. 21 year old Mari Creighton was killed in that gunfire. Her mother is relieved by today's ruling. I felt that it was necessary that no one else have to go through the pain that I'm going through. She was in court to hear the judge's decision. Today to be resolved brought actually tears to my eyes. I just hate that it was at the expense of, you know, my daughter's life, but it, it did bring um, another form of justice, you know, to say that her life did matter. During the hearing, city officials argued the lounge had too many acts of violence. Outside of May's shooting, where two were killed and four others were injured since June of 2020, there have been two other shootings and 35 fights. Defense tried to establish that if the lounge was that problematic, the city should have moved sooner. Have you ever issued a citation for 1145 under this subsection before? I have not. Did you make any contact with the business owner at that time <coughs> or after that visit? I didn't. City officials also said that the lounge was not up to code. As we stand here today, uh, it's still an unsafe building, is that correct? Absolutely. Mayor Andre Dickens just put out a statement about this whole situation and the ruling specifically saying in part, while nothing can ever bring their loved ones back, I hope this news brings some comfort to the family and loved ones affected by the instance of violence at this now permanently closed establishment. And we did reach out to the owner of the lounge to ask him how he feels about the ruling. We did not hear back from him. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.